don't know what we're saying that. Can you guys hear me okay? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I think we're live. Okay, I was trying to get my Nuvo to work so I could go live in Summer Sweet Shop as well as here and in How to Teach a Cookie Class because we're talking about cookie classes and it would not work. It would not connect to Facebook. And it was like, nope, not going to connect today. And I was like, Whoa. oh my goodness. Guys, happy December. I'm so excited that December is here. I can't believe it's like Christmas time. And my daughter told me this morning when I said, I can't believe it's almost Christmas. And she's like, it's not Christmas yet. And I was like, but it's December. So I feel like it's, you know, Christmas all month long. So I am excited to talk to you guys. Um, how are you doing? Are you guys surviving? Are you, um, do you have so many orders out there, I bet? And you are just probably swamped with um, custom orders and holiday orders. And um, let me know in the comments what, um, okay. I just saw it said summer roads and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm on my personal page. <laughs> Would not be the first time, but it's not. It's here in the um, Cookie with Confidence page. I'm excited. Guys, we're going to be doing a, um, I'm going to teach a class tomorrow night. Um, just a little fun. We're going to do decorate two cookies. We're going to do a little bit of a lettering um, on a cookie. I'm not going to show you what it is just yet, but it's going to be really fun. So join me here tomorrow night. But today we're talking about cookie classes to cash. If you don't know, my cookie classes to cash is my monthly membership where I teach you how to teach cookie classes and have a profitable cookie class business. So you get done for you cookie designs every single month, um, which include a student guide, an instructor guide, a practice sheet, all the marketing that goes with that class so that you can promote your class and win and get people to sign up um, all the time and have your classes just um, sell out. That is the goal, right? To have them sell out and for people to be standing there going, I need to take another class. I want to take another class. I want to do another class. So um, hi, Angie. Good to see you. Hey, Margaret. Good to see you guys. People are jumping on. So don't leave me hanging here by myself. But I want to show you two classes that we have for the December cookie classes to cash. Um, each month in Cookie Classes to Cash, I deliver two cookie classes each month. Most of the times, at least one of those is going to be seasonal and it's going to do with whatever season is upcoming. Um, typically, we are about two months ahead of seasons. So we released um, Christmas in October because I knew you'd be gearing up for your Christmas classes. This month in December, we released our Valentine's classes because I want you to go ahead and get ready, order your cutters, print out your instructions. I want you to have your email copy that I give you ready to talk to those venues so that you can start setting those time, date, locations for your cookie classes and get those on the calendar in January because what else are you going to be teaching in January? You might be doing the snowbirds that we had in November, which is super, super cute. But most of all, you're probably going to be doing a Valentine set. So um, here we're going to talk about what ones we are doing for this month. We have two sets. We have a Valentine's um, puppy love class and we have a penguin letters class. I'm going to show you the two cookies from each of these classes that are my favorite. They are the showstoppers. Each of these classes are really um, curated to be perfect for a beginner class. They're built for someone who's never picked up a piping bag before, who um, wants to learn how to decorate cookies, who wants to have fun, be entertained. That's what these classes are all geared towards. Each of the classes have at least two pretty simple, easy cookies where you're basically outlining and flooding, maybe adding a small amount of detail. Then we have two that are more intermediate. Um, and then we have two that are your show stopper cookies. So with our puppy love class, I have to show you these two that are my favorite. 
are these two cookies here. So you've got the cookie, the little dachshund with his balloon um, tied around his little waist so he doesn't get lost. And then you have your dachshund here, your dachshund head. And my favorite thing about this are the hearts here um, coming off of his nose. They are super, super, super cute and adorable. So these are like the showstoppers. These are the ones, the cookies that people are going to see in that set and say, oh my gosh, I have to take that class. It is so cute and so fun. I have to take that class. So these are the two. I'm going to show you a few more things that come with this class and why it is just amazing and fantastic. So, um, and just so you know, I don't have the link here. I should have had the link to sign up for a cookie classes to cash. You can sign up today for cookie classes to cash if you want. And the best part is that you get all of the classes that we have taught previously. Um, so we started Cookie Classes to Cash last August. You can get all of the classes um, from all the way back to last August. Let me get that link for you here. Um, you can find it. Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, it's taking me just a minute. You can also get my um, freebie that is the checklist for um, how to teach a cookie class. If you're like, hey, I don't know how to do that. I don't know. Um, I need help. Like what all, like I, I taught a really large class on Monday and I use this checklist. Where's my checklist? I just had it. I use this checklist like to make sure I had everything. I put everything on, <clears throat> on the table to make sure that like I got everything that I took it in my car to the event and um, it is invaluable. So I have everything on here that you need. I almost forgot trays, like all those things. Like, I don't want you to forget anything, but it also has um, this checklist. You can get it, like I said, for free on my um, link in my bio. Um, you've got your prep list. So you're putting like what cookie cutters you're going to be doing, what the icing colors are, when is the event, where is it being held, all of those things to make it super easy for you. Um, and then what do you do afterwards? Okay, you're going to email your participants. You're going to share photos online, like all of those things that you do after your class is over, um, what things you need to be doing. So grab that for free on my website. Um, you can get that there and hopefully it's a really, really great resource. So for our puppy, whoops, so for our puppy love class, we um, did a, like I said, those six adorable cookies. Um, these are the cookies here. You can see this is our instructor guide that you get for each class. It is um, almost 10 pages. It's nine pages of step-by-step -step instructions for that class. Um, so you have step-by-step, -step, you have the icing prep sheet, you have the supply list that you need for that. The links for this are all the cutters that you need, or you can get the STL files if you have, if you need them and you want to print them on your own. You have the icing prep sheet here for knowing how much icing you need. You have your images, which is great if you're going to use a projector. We also have the eddy images, so you can put that in your eddy and have it traced on your cookie, which makes it so much better. Um, and then you have your step-by-step -step instructions. And I love that we've included now the um, um, images, the illustrations to show you what you're coloring in and what step you are going to next. And so we like to give also... Um, with each class has different teacher tips. I don't repeat them. Um, and so I'm giving you new teacher tips as I have taught the class and recorded it. Um, things that I want you to remember to tell your students and, and helpful things like, hey, don't pick this one up by the ears because it's going to, it could easily break or don't pick it up by the 
part or make sure that um, they pick up their flood icing when they start to do their wet on wet technique. Things like that, that I, um, tips that I give you that you can then say to your class. So super cute and helpful. A lot of people in cookie classes to cash, take this, excuse me, take this with them to the class to use as a reference. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to use it right there, but it can be a like, you know, if you get nervous getting in front of people and talking, if you're in the class, like if you have this here, it's kind of like, okay, like this is going to give me confidence, right? This is cookie with confidence. So I called it that because I want to give you the confidence that you can teach this. So giving you this instructor guide, almost 10 pages instructor guide is going to help you so, so much in teaching your class. And guess what? If you are confident in teaching your classes, people are going to want to come back more. They're going to want to come to your class more often. They're going to um, start following you and start seeing what other things that you offer, whether that's holiday orders or maybe you're offering um, holiday kits, whatever it is, like you're starting to build your audience and starting to find your target customers. Okay, the second thing that we have is our student guide. So this student guide is all illustrations, but it shows you step-by-step in our rounds one, two, and three, what they're going to be doing. So this is great. You can use this in different ways. You can use this for um, the um, overhead. If you want to have an overhead projector and you have these on an overhead and they can, the um, students can see what they are going to be decorating, what things are going to be filling in. Um, they can see, you can also include this in a cookie kit. If you have people that maybe they weren't able to come to the class or you want to sell extra cookie kits, you can include this student guide for them. You can either email it to them. You can print it out and put that in their um, little packet that they can take home and decorate. So you can do a student guide. You can use it as a projector. There's a third way. I can't remember off the top of my head what that third way is. It'll come to me later. But lots of cool things that you can do with this student guide. It's very, very helpful. I use it when I'm teaching the class and recording it. Helps me so, so much. Next is your practice sheet. Um, this is the one that we have for the puppy love. We have lots of polka dots we're doing in that class. We've got the hearts down here so they can practice and go through that class. Um, we also have the um, social media um, for that. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. Um, I'll show you some of the sneak peeks of like the social media um, things that you get. You get the images that you can use for Instagram, Facebook, um, email, things like that, that you can use. So you can start promoting your class because you want to get those sold out. Okay. The next class that we have is our penguin love class. Um, I, no penguin letters, sorry, penguin letters. I was like, that doesn't sound right. And these are the two cookies from it. They are my they are so cute. I love using the pink, blue, and red theme um, for this one. I just thought it was so, so sweet. I saw these penguins because one, they are definitely winter theme, but I also think that they are so cute for Valentine's Day. We've not done a penguin for Valentine's Day, and I thought these would be perfect. So you got one here with um, holding his heart, and then you have one here holding an envelope. And so super, super cute. These are your showstoppers. Remember, these are the ones that people are going to be like, oh my gosh, I have to sign up for this class. It's so cute and so adorable. So here are these two classes or two cookies from the Penguin Letters class. And for that one, this is what all of the cookies look like for all of that one. So you also have the pencil and the, um, for love notes, you've got this stamp here for your letters. You've got your scalloped heart here and you've got your envelope here with the sweet heart. So, so, so fun. Again, you have your supply list that you need to teach the class, everything from the cutters, we have the links that work on there. So you can go directly to where you need to purchase those. We make it so easy. We do all of the hard work for you. There's no more, hey, let me get a cutter from this shop and then this shop. And then maybe I can make this work into a class. And then what colors am I going to do? I do it all for you. So it's all right here. I do all of the math for you. I'm figuring out, I'm figuring out the designs like this makes it so easy. So all you have to do is you book that class, you reach out to a venue, you book that class and you show up and you teach so easy. And I'm telling you the best way I ever made money in a class was, or in my business was teaching a cookie class. 
Um, we also have the images here. You can use this page for your projector or you, we have the Eddy files available. So if you have an Eddy, which prints on an edible print, it prints onto your cookie, you can use those Eddy files, which is fantastic. Um, all of these cutters are also from the Sprinkle Factory. I should have mentioned that. So you can download the STL files and print them at home if you have a printer. If you want to have someone that you know, um, maybe locally or someone that you know that has a printer that you can save a little money, um, they can print them or um, you can order the physical cutters. And so you can order those physical cutters and get them shipped directly to you. You can do individual or you can do the whole bundle. So maybe you're like, I just want that dog with the balloon, you can order just one cookie cutter. And here's the thing is I have an exclusive discount, a 50% discount for cookie classes to cash membership. So if you are in there, you have a 50% discount on all of those physical cutters. So it's a pretty sweet deal. Ha ha ha. Sweet. Um, okay. And then you have your written instructions for each of the rounds. And we have the illustrations up here as well. So easy to follow along. Um, with them. If you have someone that maybe they didn't come to the class and they want to learn more, you can always like give them these instructions. If you want, I would probably give them the student guide. Um, but this is for you to use, just like I said before, it's for you to use to go through and, um, and know exactly what you're saying. We have the teacher tips on here and helping you to um, know what to say, things that will be helpful for your students. Um, as you are progressing and they are progressing through the class. And we do three rounds um, with um, each cookie or at least two rounds. A lot of times we'll, but we'll go through three rounds and showcasing um, what all they um, are doing with that cookie. And then you have your practice sheet. So the practice sheet is what I like to go over first with them. Um, this one's got the lines here because you're doing the lines on the notebook paper, on the heart with a pencil um, and then the hearts here. You're teaching them how to do that. You can also use this um, and use the hearts and make transfers. If you're like, hey, I'm teaching a hour and a half class and I need something a little bit faster um, than trying to show them how to do hearts because hearts can be a little bit difficult. I do write out the instructions on how to do a, um, a heart using the teardrop method. I don't know where I first saw that. I wish I could like credit whoever it was where I first saw it. Um, but and I tried to like write out the best way possible to explain like how to make the teardrop heart. Um, but you could always make the transfers and make it like super easy. And those would be really cute for a um, for a um, kit as well. Like if you're selling kits, they would be perfect um, and really, really fun, especially if you're doing like a kid's class, um, things like that. And then you have your student guide. So you have your student guide, again, that you can put in their kit. You can use it as a projector, or I still can't think of what the other thing was. Okay, let me show you a little sneak peek of what else is inside for this month in cookie, um, cookie classes to cash. Hang on. I have to get to the right page. Can you hear my ice maker? It's like right here. And it is so loud every time. Like it hasn't been doing very good, like um, making ice lately. I've heard some other people complain about it. We got it last year. I got it last year for Christmas. Okay. So when you log in to Cookie Classes to Cash on your portal, when you are a part of Cookie Classes to Cash, this is what you see. And you have your different modules and everything. Um, all of these here, these five, always stay um, up here at the top. You've got your wel welcome and introduction, how to teach a class is in there as well. So that workshop is there. That's where I encourage you to start if you haven't done that already. And then we have our marketing trainings and social media trainings. So you can see the different marketing trainings that we've done. Um, the um, From photography, email marketing, strategic posting, um, um, I don't know what this marketing tip is. Um, it's something else, but um, example copy, um, advertising on Facebook, marketing strategy and um, example copy. Um, I don't know why that's in there twice. How to use Canva, um, turning your cookie class into a cookie party, pricing your class, um, seven budget friendly ways to market your class, like all of those things. So we have different trainings every month. Um, this month we are doing... 
Um, some goal setting. So we're going to do a planning timeline is what we're working on next week. So just showing them like how to plan your class, like, hey, you have a class on December 15th, how you're going to take that day and you're going to work backwards so that you have a clear marketing roadmap to that class so that you are marketing in email, you're marketing on social media, you're filling up those classes and what that looks like for all of those pieces that come together. Um, and then we have a social media training. Our social this month is where we're gonna be prepping for 2024 and doing some planning there. But when you click on the Puppy Love class, you'll see all of the deliverables that you get. You get this for every single class, each of these pieces. You get your class video where I'm teaching you step-by-step -step how to teach your class. You have your instructor guide. I just showed you that one and you have your student guide. And then you have your um, Royal Icing pricing sheet or practice sheet. Those are um, made each for the coordinating class and they're different, just a little bit different in each one. You have your social media template. So this one's really cool. This is just an example of one of the um, a Facebook banner that you can put on in a, in a Facebook event page for your cookie class. I show you how to go in and change out, swap out the picture for your picture of cookies and then putting in your when, where, and how for that class. So super, super cute. We give you different ones. We give you vertical ones for Instagram posts. We give you horizontal ones that you can use for your Facebook event page and banner. We give you ones that are square that you can use for stories. We got you covered um, because we want you to market it. I've um, seen before where there's just like an overwhelming amount of social media templates um, and we keep it like really simple. You want it to be um, where they see it and they want to sign up and they're excited about it. So um, again, trying to make it as easy as we can on you, the cookie instructor, to all you're doing, you're focusing on making your cookies, making your icing and teaching that class. We're doing all the hard work for you. Then you have your mix and match copy. Your mix and match copy is the copy, the text, the sample emails that you can send to your, um, I was gonna say your, to your students. So the people that um, you are reaching out to for venues, the ones what your email correspondence is to those students. Um, and then we have the Eddy files down here that you can use to print on your cookies. So you get that every single month for every single class. Um, and then, like I said, you can scroll through and see we have five pages worth of different classes. So you can go through and see all the different classes that we have taught we, me, I have taught in the last um, um, year, almost a year and a half. So um, we have the penguin letters here. So you can see the different ones um, as well. So the different deliverables that you get. So that's what you get inside Cookie Classes of Cash. Like this title says, it's just a little sneak peek of what Cookie Classes to Cash is all about. Um, but more so than that, it's just about what is in... Um, what the December class is all about. So we're doing the Valentine's Day, the Penguin Letters, the Puppy Love, super, super cute. You can always jump in if you're like, hey, I only teach classes like a couple months out of the year. I'm only teaching them in the winter time. Maybe you do it to just um, during those slow seasons like January. Um, and I think like January and September are like the slowest months for cook years. And so maybe you're just doing it that time of year. You can sign up for $67 a month and then you can cancel it if you want. And you can say, you know, I don't really want to do this anymore or I only do it a certain time of the year. You can totally do that and, um, and just cancel anytime you want. But the link is there um, and you can take advantage of it and sign up today. Um, definitely get you that checklist. If you're teaching classes, for sure, grab that checklist because it's free. It's free, my friends, it's free. So get that checklist and um, let me know if you have any questions, but it is a pleasure and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow night. We're going to be decorating some holiday cookies. So join me tomorrow night, um, same place tomorrow night. I don't know what time, but probably between seven and 8 PM. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.